double speak. You're not answering the question I'm asking. You're not a good enough call. You should be getting away with Okay, so give me one, give me one, give me one. Give me one. No, give me one. Nobody should be killed. I got a different question. I got a different question for you. I got a different question for you. I'm gonna make my way through this. Protesters harassing Florida Congressman Brian Mast, just one target of the mob that descended on RNC guests leaving the White House. Congressman Mass joins us now. Congressman, thanks for being here. Your interaction with the protesters outside of the RNC is a bit different than others we've seen on video. It remained mostly verbal. What were they saying to you? What were they asking you? What were you debating? Look, there was no debate. They weren't really asking that much. They were just trying to yell. They weren't interested in truth or facts. You give them an answer. They just wanted to yell more. They just wanted you to answer the things that they wanted you to answer in the way that they wanted you to answer. Their goal out there, very simple. It's intimidation. They act like hyenas. They sound like hyenas out there. And when you, you know, I think when you face hyenas like that, you got to go out there. You got to act like a lion. You got to stand your ground. You got to let them know you're not going to be intimidated. And uh, that's what you do with, with folks that act like that. Yeah, I mean, it's emotional extortion. They want you to conform immediately in the moment to their demands. How long did it last? And, you know, as someone who's a combat veteran, obviously given body parts of your own body to our country, uh, where does it rank amongst, you know, for someone who hasn't been through what you've been through, I got to believe it would be a, a very scary environment. Look, I can't say that it was scary for me at all. Uh, you know, the, the reality of the situation was it was one of several encounters that you just played right there because we were probably walking through these kind of crowds for the better part of, of 15 minutes. Mm. Um, but, you know, I, I would look at it this way. I was blown up in combat. Like you said, what are they really going to do that's worse to me than what I've already been through? Probably not much, but I can promise you that what I would do to one of them is probably worse than what they've been through. You know, Congressman, you said that it wasn't scary for you. We've seen, you know, clips playing of, of Rand Paul and his wife. This can get scary for some, though. If you're walking with your family member, you, you think you're just running an errand or something, and, and, and you're confronted. People have been confronted in restaurants, blindsided by this. So what is your message to people who feel that it's okay to behave this way in this day and age, particularly when it, becomes, when it comes to Trump supporters? Yeah, look, you know, these folks that have gone out there, like I said, these hyenas, as, as I've called them, uh, I have one in my community. She said, open season on conservatives. That's the way they look at it. What does that literally mean? It means open to hunting. No, no restriction on hunting is what open season means. So we should all be prepared. We should all be prepared for that, and we should be prepared to be lions, to not be intimidated, to go out there and say, listen, you can come at me, but you're going to get a lot worse than what you're going to try to dish out to me. Ultimately, we have the right to defend ourselves, and we're supposed to have free speech, and assemblies are supposed to be peaceable. Uh, and when those things are viol violated, um, you know, you, you've got to stand your ground. Uh, Congressman Mass, thank you so much uh, for your time and uh, for your, your cool head in that moment. Appreciate it. You got it.